lots. Now, here's what I will tell you. I see some horses in there. Um, a lot of times the horses will do well on Mercari. The dolphin, you can part these little dogs and these little figures, especially the animals. People look for them as replacements, and Mercari is an awesome platform for that. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, so I'm just going to say that this video makes me really happy, and I'm going to tell you why, because I am featuring Jersey, Jersey Shore Thrifter, but here's the great thing. I featured them four years ago, back when I first started my YouTube channel. They have been around and are still following the channel four years later. They are still finding bolos. They are still fantastic. And I am going to share with you what sold. But check this out. So this is me back four years ago. I have no glasses. Um, the, this was my thumbnail. I've come a long way, you guys. But I featured them. This video had a whopping 210 views. So hopefully this one's going to get a few more. But please go follow Jersey Shore Thrifter. I am going to link them down in the description, their eBay store. But I'm also going to link this video if you guys want to go watch and see like one of my first featured seller videos. Oh my goodness. I need to go watch it before I post it. I'm like telling you to go watch it. I'm going to post it. I should probably watch it back and just see what it's all about, right? So anyway, here is their eBay store, Jersey Shore Thrifter. So I just want to thank them for the support and for sticking around for so long and just following the channel. That That's just incredible to me. Four years. I featured them four years ago and um, we still stay in touch. And he is very active in the Facebook group with sharing his bolos. So you guys have heard me talk about him before and um, him and his wife do this together and yeah, bolo finders. So follow their eBay store by clicking on the little heart right here. They have 71 followers. Let's try to get them some followers guys. It's always good to have followers on the platforms you sell on. When he posts um, new items, you'll get alerts. When he has a coupon, you'll get an alert. But also check out what he's selling because he's a bolo finder and he finds a lot of things curbside, which is basically free. So um, you can learn from him as well. All right. So let's get started here with the first item that he sold. It is this vintage 1985 t-shirt single stitch paper thin Springsteen born USA tour and you can see how he's got the back down here in the corner so I think that is a pretty good idea to show both the front and the back on your main photo and he got this t-shirt let's see he said all of the rest cost of goods zero either trash picked marked TP or a part of a private pick prior to a few different house cleanouts marked co okay so this was a house clean out and he took a best offer of 30 dollars plus shipping on this one the next item is this nordic track metalist ski machine leg resistance adjustment cable knob assembly and this was also a house clean out he parted out a full ski machine and sold just this part for the 49.99 so parted out a ski machine. Would you take the time to do that? Would you be able to figure out how to do that? Would you be able to figure out what part it was? I think that would be very difficult, but he did it. And he's, I mean, $49.99 just for that part. That's incredible. This is a Bachman G scale train tracks, complete oval with transformer extra work. C video. This one came from a house clean out also. So he said basically his cost of goods was free. Sold this for $99.99 plus shipping. Here is another one from that house clean out. It's a Bachman G scale big hauler combine car passenger mail lighted D and RG Denver Rio. Sold this one for $39.99 plus shipping. Now these right here are a trash picked. <laughs> They're vintage brass beehive. Ooh. 
I don't know how to say that. And Andorons, Andirons, Colonial Fireplace. Oh my goodness. Stanchions. <laughs> <laughs> log rack. It's a log rack, guys. It's a brass beehive log rack. That's what we're going to call it. Um, sold for $79.91 plus shipping. This is a pivot ladder tool by Provision Tools Jack Leveler Rooftop Caddy, USA made. Again, something I would have walked right past. Don't even still know what it is. He got this for... Let's see. I'm sorry. He sold it for $89.99 on eBay using local pickup option. A contractor from an hour away needed it for a job like right now. So it sounds like they came and picked it up. And that was also a trash pick. Lego Stars Gresh. Grish. Bionicle. This one came from... From a friend's attic clean out, paid 40 for three huge totes full of toys. So pennies for the Lego Bionicle. Sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. This is a Yazaki, Yazika, Yashika. 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 Easy S Zoom. Uh, film point and shoot camera. He got this uh, at a church thrift store for a dollar and sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. This realistic best made toy leopard, cheetah, jaguar, lifelike plush stuffed animal, 18 inches. Got it at a church thrift store for a dollar and sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. I would have been pricing that bad boy at $100. You know those realistic animals can go for crazy money, Jerry. What were you doing? Did you look it up? Of course he looked it up. This is probably about what they go for, but I still would have listed it high because I've seen some of these go for crazy money. And I'm one of those when I have something that I feel like it's a little bit special, I will price it high and I will let everybody else sell theirs and I will wait for the right buyer. I'm a very patient reseller. This is a Sony 2 Walkman SRF headphone radio TV weather mega bass tested and works. And just if you don't know, I always give Jerry a hard time. So um, I had to give him a hard time on something. So I picked that plush. All right. Let's see. These were estate sale finds. The next few I'm going to tell you about. He got four of these at an estate sale for $2 each. Have sold all four for $34.89 plus shipping. Talk about great money there. Four of them, two bucks each. This is a vintage scuba pro webbed weighted diving belt adjustable. He got uh, this for $3 at an estate sale and sold it for $48.99 free flat rate shipping. So he did offer free shipping, but it was in a flat rate box. Maxwell mini floppy disk, 10 packs, lot of three. Paid a dollar and sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Yeah, anytime you guys can find anything that's blank that people can put stuff on, a lot of times those are big money. So definitely look them up. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren canvas carry on doctor bag weekend travel luggage tote green. Got it at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. That is a good estate sale. Five bucks with new with tags. Wow. Here is a Super Soaker by Lar uh, Laramie Super Soaker. Extra power air pressure pump action water gun toy. Got this at new page. A yard sale for $3 and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. This next item is a Mint Leatherman Original PST2 Rare to Date Codes 95 96 leather sheath and this he got at an estate i'm sorry a yard sale paid a dollar tried to auction it starting at 89.99 didn't sell relisted it at 89.99 plus shipping and sold for full price within a week yes so i always tell you guys if there's nothing else listed like your item start the auction at the price you want to get he wanted to get 89.99 so one of two things is going to happen. Number one, it's not going to sell. Number two, there's going to be a bidding war because at least two people want this item. 
So in this situation, during his seven day auction, nobody wanted the item. So he relisted it at a buy it now at the price he started his auction at and he sold it. So which is better, best offer, uh, buy it now or auction? That's completely up to you. But when you have something that's hard to find, definitely try the auction out first because this could have went a totally different way had two people really wanted this item. But what he did, he tested the market. It didn't sell. So then he put it on a buy it now, which is exactly what I would recommend doing because you never know. You just never know. And at least this way, now he knows. Hey, Jerry, you should have auctioned off that cheetah. <laughs> All right, let's check out this Ping Gnome 405 face balanced putter, 37 inch. Oh my goodness. I'm awful. I'm awful. I'm such an awful bad friend. <laughs> All right, let's see. It is a putter, paid $7 for it and sold it for $129.99 plus shipping. He's going to be sending me comps tomorrow after he watch or not tomorrow, but after he watches this video of all the cheetahs that sold for the same price, he's going to be like, I'm telling you, it's only worth this much. All right. Uh, let's see. Did I tell you what that sold for? $129.99 and he paid $7 for the golf club. Huge lot of 125 plus vintage electronic vacuum tubes, RCA, GE, Sylvania, boxed, loose, untested. He got these at a yard sale for 15, sold on auction for $160.39 plus international shipping. Would you have parted it out or sold it as he did? Let me know down in the comments. This next item is a huge lot of Lego friends, minifigures and the dogs, the accessories and all of that. So what he did, he said he bought a huge Lego set lot, not set, lot of uh, minifigures and bricks for $5. He spent a couple hours sorting out all the minifigures, as you see here. Then the same buyer bought both for an offer of $169.99. So they bought this for $49.99. And this for whatever it equals out to be $169.99 plus shipping. So he did all that work and the same person bought it. Man, that stinks. Now, here's what I will tell you. I see some horses in there. Um, a lot of times the horses will do well on Mercari. The dolphin, you can part these little dogs and these little figures, especially the animals, People look for them as replacements, and Mercari is an awesome platform for that. If you're not selling on Mercari, I definitely, definitely recommend. Um, there is a link down below. If you join with that link, you're going to get $10 to shop, and you're going to get an additional $15. I'm sorry, an additional $20 after you sell $100 worth of stuff. So it's $30 total to shop. And then you can go buy something to resell. Um, I always say that because I think that's what you should do with your money. If you're a reseller, you should buy things to resell. But look at all these little dogs and animals. I would have been parting this out, but I am a parted out kind of girl. All right. So that's the Lego story. Here is the Deltran battery tender four bank charger maintainer, whatever that is. Uh, he got this at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for $189.99. What it is, is it is a bolo. Be on the lookout. This next item is this OEM Sony PlayStation processor unit. And this one he got, okay, so it says the next items all came from one sale, a surprise pop-up moving sale on a Wednesday evening. I scored 51 plushies and a good amount of video game stuff for a total of $100. Plushies worked out to be 78 cents each, video games and consoles around $5 each. Wow, that's a great deal. This one sold for $32.99 plus shipping. The next is this Nintendo Wii U Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games disc one, only tested nice. And you can see here he's got it popped up to show that it works. And he sold this right here, this one game for $49.99 and it doesn't even look like it has the case. So that's awesome. This is a Nintendo Wii replacement console with cables only, no game pad tested and works. He got this for the $5 and sold it for $159.99 plus shipping. 
And in another video, you are going to see a bunch of the plush that he sold over on Mercari. Uh, they are not in this video. This is strictly eBay, but he sells on Mercari as well. And a bunch of those plush sold fast on Mercari. A lot of them are uh, the gamers type plushies that have to do with games and stuff like that. And man, he did really, really well. So watch for that video. It's probably already out by now, but check it out. So this one right here is the Wii. Sold for, where is it? I can't find it. Oh yeah, here it is. $59.99 plus shipping. And this one, I kept seeing 159. I'm like, no, this says 59. Sony PlayStation 4 Slim with um, the game and the cords. It's a bundle. He sold this one for $159.99 plus shipping. Cost of goods, $5. This is one of the plush he sold. It's the Sonic Boom Shadow Plush Hedgehog stuffed animal toy. Hard to find. He sold this guy for $49.99 plus shipping and his cost of goods was $0.78. Cents. It still has his little tush tag attached, which is always good. He showed the information there. He's got a close-up of the face, any defects or issues, and he also has the height. All great, important pictures to have. Show all sides. Use those pictures, guys. Use them. Vintage Cutco 68 cheese knife spreader, fresh from factory sharpening, classic handle. Now, he says, unless stated otherwise, all of these sales were full price, no offers. The following are all from the same family run estate sale and the guy bundle priced for me. My cost of goods is an estimate based on his bundle price. So this Cutco knife, um, let's see, it's a cheese knife, paid 50 cents for it and sold it for full price of $39.99 plus shipping. Look at this, full set, eight Cutco steak table knives. They still have the little uh, papers on them. Paid $8. No, set of eight paid $2 and sold for $249.99 with free shipping. How do you get Cutco for $2? Come on, Jerry, tell us your secret. All right, Man, Myth, and Magic Illustrated Encyclopedia Supernatural Complete Set 24 Books. And it looks like maybe their first edition. Paid $10 for the set and sold for full asking price of $274.95 plus shipping. And the last one you may have seen featured in another video. My, this is my bolo. Jerry actually came on and told us about this mask and his story behind it. He paid $1 for this and sold it on auction for $515.53 plus shipping. Check it out. Is that crazy or what? Would you ever have expected this item to go for over $500? Let me know down in the comments. Again, this is Jersey Shore Thrifter. Please go give them a follow. They will be linked down below. If you want to see the first video I did on their store four years ago, I'll link that down below also. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and check Jerry out down below. Thanks for watching.